This segment is sponsored by the D.C. Department of Insurance, Security and Banking. Well, love is in the air, and so are scams. According to the Federal Trade Commission, in the past five years, Americans have lost more than a billion dollars to romance scams. In 2021 alone, a record 547 million stolen from people that were just looking for love. And get this, the average loss last year, $2,400. And that's why the D.C. Department of Insurance, Securities, and Banking is on the job. Joining us is Commissioner Karima Woods. Thank you so much. Welcome to Good Morning Washington. Tell us about Disby. Yes, good morning. Um, a little bit about Disby. Under the leadership of Mayor Bowser, Disby is committed to empowering and educating residents regarding their financial affairs. We are the district's financial regulatory agency. We regulate financial institutions. We also support residents and businesses around their financial goals. Very helpful. So what are some examples of romance scams? So yes, love is in the air, Valentine's Day is around the corner, and romance scams are the last thing anyone entering into a relationship is thinking about. Um, examples of romance scams include online dating. Um, oftentimes you'll find individuals are online, they're seeking love, they're seeking to get to know someone, and the last thing they're thinking about is meeting someone who's trying to scam them out of their hard-earned money. Mm -hmm. um, so we encourage them to be mindful in who they're engaging with and to know the signs if you just met someone and they're asking you for money or crypto or mm -hmm. gift cards or to transfer a wire money to them run that's the first thing you do is run um, I, and out make of here out of here <laughs> out of here and don't look back yeah. um, so just be careful when you're engaging online how do scammers actually even do all of this so scammers are masters of disguise and they don't sleep. So they're constantly thinking of ways to take your hard earned money. So some of the ways that they'll do it is that they will um, have one profile, but when you communicate with them, it's something completely different. Um, or sometimes they will only want to engage with you through communication, through text, through emails, through, through an online app and not oh, necessarily so in person. In person. Wow. So they're constantly finding a way to to no longer en engage with you in person or say virtually they only want to communicate with you um, through some type of communication device those are some of the ways that that we've seen um, they also um, want to build your trust they want to gain access to your heart um, so that they can um, at some point try and manipulate you take your hard-earned assets oh, that is just ridiculous good thing there's Disby Tell everyone how your agency protects consumers, especially related to romance scams. So some of the ways we protect uh, consumers are through awareness, education, enforcement. Uh, DISBE has a enforcement and consumer protection division. Um, so if you have uh, feel like you've been victimized by a scammer, you can contact our office. We'll assign a fraud investigator to you to interview your particular situation. Um, they'll collect evidence, gather data. Uh, if they're witness they'll speak with those witnesses and begin their investigative process. And no one wants to be caught up in this. So how can people avoid romance scams altogether? I think some of the ways to avoid romance scams is to recognize behaviors. Um, so if you just met someone and in a very short period of time they're like falling in love with you um, and they're asking for your money or asking that you to send them crypto or um, some other type of financial uh, trans transaction, um, that's something to be very, very mindful of. Um, or they have taken on a persona, so maybe they have a profile that doesn't match the conversation that they're actually having with you. Um, or they only want to meet or, or talk with you via online chats or telephone or oh, email. Never in person. Never in person mm. and never through a virtual call. So you don't see the person. We often find that some of these scammers also um, are, are overseas or maybe they're in the military or maybe for a long period of time you've never seen them, but they've gained access to your heart and at some point want access to your pocketbook. Wow, I, I have learned so much, and I know there's more. Where can we get more information? You can contact our office um, at disb.dc.gov. You can also call us at 202-727-8000, and we'll be more than willing to help. Thank you so much, Commissioner, for being here. Thank you.